love Jesus. Apostolic Sunday School. Why hello there and welcome to ApostolicSundaySchool.com. Today we're going to do an object lesson that talks about, well, rules that God himself has set into place. Now what's interesting about these rules is that once he puts them into place, even he can't break them. Because God is not a man that he could lie. So if God says something, he's going to keep his word no matter what. Now this is a very interesting little stick here. You're going to see that there's a lot of little pom-pom balls, and if I pull one, one responds. That's pretty simple. So the red is connected to the purple. That's very simple. That's like a rule that God has set into place. How about the rule that says if you repent, he's going to forgive you? He has to, because God said it. Uh, how about this one, the purple and the yellow? Now, we know those two are connected, but what about these two? Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. That's like the rule that God said, if you're baptized in Jesus' name, all of your sins will be washed away. That's pretty cool. Now, what about the yellow and the green? Okay, all right, all right. How about this one? If you read your Bible, you will grow in God. That's just a rule that God has put into place. How about ask and it shall be given you? That's a rule. Seek and ye shall find. Now, some people think, well, I've been seeking for the Holy Ghost and I haven't got it yet, so therefore I should just quit and give up. No, the Bible says, seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be open. So we know these two are connected, these two are connected, these two are connected, but what about, hmm, these? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So all of these are pretty much connected to each other. Now, what about the purple and the green? No. Could that possibly? Well, let's find out. I pull this one. Are you kidding me? Okay, those are, those are connected too. What about the yellow and the red? Those can't possibly be connected to... Okay, everything's connected. The red's connected to the purple. Oh my goodness. Okay, everything is connected. But you're watching this and you're probably thinking... I think I know how this is working. I got it all figured out. I think I know how this is working. Uh, there's something connecting it, or maybe there's really intelligent gerbils in there. I don't know, but there's something in there. But you, you pretty much think you have it figured out. But you see, God likes every now and then to just mess with their minds. He likes to flex his muscles and show you, you know, I'm God. No, I'm not gonna break my rules but I can make new rules up all the time. You may think you got God all figured out, and you may think that you have God in a little box, and you may think that God can only do a certain number of things, but God is amazing. Isaiah 55, 8 says, For his thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. Isaiah 43, 19, Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Sometimes, maybe he wants to fold back the waters of his people to cross the sea on dry ground. But, like I said, sometimes God just likes to show us that he's a big God and that he's not tied to the things that we think of. So just when you think you've got it all figured out, every now and then God likes to just kind of mess with our minds and say, you know what, you think you had me all figured out. You think you knew exactly how I work. You knew, think you knew everything. But really... You didn't. I'm a big God. I'm a big, big God. And He is. God is so much bigger than even we can think He is. God is amazing. That's like when He told uh, Simon Peter, He said, push your boat out further into the deep water and let you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. And uh, Simon said, Master, we, we worked hard all night. We haven't caught anything. But if you say so, we'll do it. And they let them down. They see, they think they knew everything. They think they had it all figured out. But it turns out that even accomplished fishermen didn't know what they were doing when it was compared to Jesus. Now, this here is just a Christian illusion. And I'm asking you, please don't tell the kids how this is done. Because once they know, it won't be cool anymore. And they will just want to tell everybody how it's done. This is very simple. But I saw it the first time and couldn't figure out how it was done. So I had to buy it. This is actually just magnets. I don't know if you can see that. In between there, there are two magnets that are holding that together. 
and the way this works is those two magnets allow all these things to be pulled but when you're ready to show the trick you actually are holding this end and you're popping this in loose too and then it separates the magnets so there's nothing showing and then you can put them back together again just by letting the uh, magnets on both ends go together. Now this is called a pom-pom stick. Uh, I saw this and then I couldn't find it anywhere. I finally found it online, uh, but it was very expensive, about 65 bucks. Um, you can probably make it on your own and I don't mind showing you how to do that. Um, I, at least I can show you some close-up pictures of it and hopefully that'll help. But this is a really, really cool object lesson. I don't care how smart the audience is. There's very few people that are going to be able to figure out how this one is done. But don't tell the kids, don't tell anybody how it's done or it'll ruin it. Uh, if you think of a better application for how to use this, how to teach something with it, or comments just in general, how to make it better, please let me know. We always want to uh, update the website, keep it current, and I want to make my Sunday school the best it can be, and I'm sure you do as well. So until then, God bless you and happy Sunday schooling.